chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again the area of an isosceles triangle is 4 square units if the length of the third side is 2 units the length of each equal side is to be found out let us first of all draw a schematic diagram for this question let this be the isosceles triangle abc and let the equal sides be represented by a and the third unequal side be represented by b we have been given the area of this triangle and the length of the third side has also been given as 2 so we can write b is equal to 2 has been given to us it is given as 2 units we have to find out the value of a b has been given to us as equal to 2 this is a simple application of the formula for the isosceles triangle in terms of the sides and we have already derived a formula for this the formula is if you remember you can revise back that video will be 4 by 5 into square root of 4a square minus b square this is the formula for the area of an isosceles triangle in terms of its sides and we can put the value of b equal to 2 into this formula and we'll get 2 by 4 into square root of 4a square because a is not known and b is known as 2 so it will be 2 square we can cancel this 4 on the table of 2 and another thing that this 2 square will ultimately be 4 so we can take out this 4 out and this area becomes equal to 1 by 2 for this 2 into this 4 comes out as 2 square root of a square minus 1 which is equal to this 2 and this 2 will also cancel which is equal to square root of a square minus 1 this area has been given equal to 4 so we can write it is equal to 4 we will write here that this is given to us now we can square both the sides of this equation we will get which implies a square minus 1 is equal to 4 square is equal to 16 which implies a square is equal to 16 plus 1 1 goes to the other side it becomes 17 therefore a is equal to square root of 17 which is the answer we had to find out the length of the each equal side we started with a and a has been found out to be equal to square root of 17 let us move to our next question now the length of each equal side and the third side of an isosceles triangle is 3 is to 
if the area of the triangle is so many square units the third side has to be found out in this question also let us start with a schematic let us suppose these are the two equal sides of the isosceles triangle and the ratio of the length of each equal side to the third side we can therefore take that this a is equal to 3k and the third unequal side b is therefore equal to 4k because the ratio is given as 3 is to 4 the area of the triangle is available we now simply have to put it in the formula so the formula is b by 4 multiplied by square root of 4a square minus b square which can be written equal to we will now put b equal to 4k and a is equal to 3k this becomes 4k by 4 multiplied by square root of 4 into 3k whole square minus because a is put equal to 3k minus b square minus 4k square this way we can see that this 4 and this 4 will cancel out so this is equal to k multiplied by square root of this 4 can be just taken out this will be 9k square minus 1 4 has been taken out so we are left with 1 4 and 4k square which is equal to this 4 will come out as 2k 2k into square root of this is 5k square and this becomes equal to now you can take out k also so it becomes 2 square root of 5 k square this is the area and it has been given equal to 18 square root of 5 we will write that this has been given to us now we can observe that 2 and 18 will cancel on 9 and we also observe that this square root of 5 and this square root of 5 also goes so we can write which implies k square is equal to 9 therefore k is equal to square root of 9 equal to 3 we have to find out the third side and that is b therefore b is equal to 4 into k is equal to 4 into 3 which is equal to 12 units which is the answer let us move to our next question now the ratios of the areas of two isosceles triangles having equal vertical angles is 1 is to 4 the ratio of their heights has to be found out let us draw a schematic in this case also these are the two isosceles triangles in which the vertical angles are equal to each other we can mark these triangles as a b c and d e and f 
and let us suppose the base of this triangle is represented by B1 and base of this triangle is represented by B2 and likewise let the height be H1 and the height be H2. Now we know that this angle is equal to this and both the triangles are isosceles. So, triangle ABC is similar to the triangle DEF. This is what we have and if they are similar by area theorem, by area theorem will apply to this case the ratio or the square of the ratio of corresponding sides that is B2 by B1 whole square will be equal to the ratio of the areas of these two triangles. This ratio A2 to A1 has been given to us as 1 is to 4. So, we will write it as 1 by 4 which implies B2 by B1 will be equal to the square root of this will be 1 by 2. So, this is one thing that is available to us. We have to find out the ratio of the heights. So, what we can do is we can write the formula for the area in terms of the base and height. That will bring in the height for us and maybe we will be able to find out some way out of that. Let us establish the ratios of the areas. So, we will write ratios of areas. They are half of base B2 into height H2 divided by half of base B1 into the corresponding height H1. This ratio is equal to 1 is to 4 once again and we can cancel out this 1 by 2 and this 1 by 2. So, which implies B2 by B1 into H2 by H1 should be equal to 1 by 4 and which implies which implies H2 by H1 should be equal to 1 by 4 this 1 by 4 this B2 by B1 is known to be equal to half so this B2 by B1 moves to the other side as B1 by B2 B1 by B2 which is equal to 1 by 4 into 2 is equal to 1 by 2 which is the required answer. So, you can see that this area theorem which we have discussed in our similarity is often used and then we saw that once we have the ratio of the basis, we were able to find out the ratio of the heights and proved that this ratio should be 1 is to 2. Let us move on to our next question now.